Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Website Reviews. Today I'm going to look over Iowa Hacks again, but this time instead of the shirts and hands, we're going to look at mugs and lamps. So to start off, let's look at the mugs. Now, what you expect from the website is mugs that you put hot water in, and it comes with a cool effect, as they can show you in the descriptions. Now, overall, the majority of them are going to be anime, or three. Are they going to show you how it's laid out? Or some are just going to be, you know, custom shaped mugs, as you can see with the Pikachu and Eevee cups. Overall, they have nice mugs, except for that Totoro water bottle mug. It is the god of all these mugs. So, as we scroll further down, they have more than just anime. And they have some pretty neat mugs. Really edgy ones as well. Overall, the standards they're putting out seems higher than the shirts and shorts. Now, these designs probably are not theirs, I'm not saying anything, it's just my opinion, they could have got these approved and everything, that's why they're putting them on the market, um, nothing really else to say about their mugs, aside from, it actually looks like they can sell these things. Moving on to the lamps, now the thing with the lamps is, they're lazily designed, as you can see. You just put the bulb there, it looks like a spirit bomb. It looks like Kai Blast, usually Dragon Ball Z, or as you can see from Ace, or they have actually nice lamps for the LED lights, as you can see with the Goku Kid and SSSJ3. But usually they're just trying to use that light bulb and just put a figurine there, not necessarily trying to be a bit more creative. As you can see, we're Zoro. You know, anyone can put a light bulb in front of Zoro and have him standing right there. Other than that, they have some pretty neat lights aside from the. Just put the light bulb there, like the Taurus. Um, um, sorry, I haven't. Brain fart. Doctor Who. Oh yeah, majority of these are just Spirit Bomb, Kai Blast, cool innovation right here. Top 10 2016 innovation technologies. Number 10, the light ball next to the figurine. You know, innovation right here. And they're pretty nice ones. Some go to the rhythm of your phone when you use an app. Of course, it comes with the thing. And now, my personal favorites out of their selection is the Gengar wall lamp. It looks like something I will put in my house and be proud of. I'm not saying any of these other products have wooden, it's just Gengar could be decorated. And it'll look cool. All of these will look cool. Now, their selection of lamps are not that wide, but, you know, they have a good variety. Aside from the, let's just use spirit bombs. Next, we're going to be looking at toys. So, we'll look at figurines for the start. They don't have any bad figurines, pretty cheap, if you look at them. Not guarantee you that they're high quality, because they also could be cheap. Drop it, you break it. But that's most figurines anyways. It has some pretty neat figurines. I especially like the samurai style for the stormtroopers and bubble fat. So that took Nami right there, but as we move on, there's nothing really distinctive from the figurines aside from Deadpool and Stitch Flush here. Now there's 13 pages, I want to go through 2 pages, because that's too long to go through. 
and I want to avoid any issues. Um, as far as we can see, figurines, I would think kind of total of piggy bank would be more in bag and wallets and not toys. Or have bag and wallets and piggy banks. Other than that, they have some pretty decent to nice figurines. Next, we'll look at the plush. We already see more. We see Stitch. You know, typical Pikachu plush. And the Totoro plush, which is pretty cool because getting Totoro pl plushies is pretty expensive. We have Fat Yoshi, that's something I would buy. Explode. Maybe not happy. He looks too out of place. Now, note these are not Japanese products. Some of these, like Nintendo, Pokemon, and Fairy Tale. So they are not going to be to some people's standards. As we can tell just by looking at a few of these, they're pretty odd. Same thing with. The figurines, just two pages, too much of a hassle to go through all of them. I like the Kingdom Hearts one. It's pretty cool. Um, but if you know, if you would want to get good plushies, like they have good plushies here, don't get me wrong. But if you want to get better better plushies in wide variety, Amazon's the way to go. Like that do one is on fleek right now. And the other. I wonder what the others are going to be. Oh, other toys. The total little piggy bank is an other. And it's in another one. Why isn't it placed in here? I don't know. Their website seems organized, but they might have a few kinks here and there. Now selling collectible ninja toys is pretty risky because, you know, legal actions and whatnot, Singapore. Definitely Singapore. Um, Kotsky wing, wings. Excuse me, rings. Uh, yeah, they're pretty. Not a lot, but it's okay. Um, moving on, we'll go to bag and wallets. I feel like I have enough time to do that. Again, these are bags. Like if you live. In the US, in certain places, just go to Hot Topic, they might have something like this. Or any knockoff anime store, or any good one, and the rather fat or cartoon one. It's pretty nice bags. Again, they look like they just photoshopped something on it. But it's like they didn't try to make it look like official. If it is official, then it's official, but like, you know how you go to a flea market and you see something, it's like, oh, I want that, because there's a look hard on it, but it's like, oh, but it looks a bit edgy because it's not, it looks like someone just photoshopped something on there, which putting pictures on bags it mainly is, but you know, it doesn't have that effect like it's something the producer would make. I like this Gengar bag, and if you could tell, I love Pokemon and Gengar. Um, overall, some of these bags I will get, like that Totoro bag. Um, same with the toys and everything, two pages. If it has more than three pages, it's only two. I'll get that out of the mind. A fanny bag. It's been a while since I saw a fanny bag. And it's a tack on tiny fanny bag. Spectacular. And cute toy girl shoulder bag. It's nice. Well, did that of Conan. Cheeky little boy. My god. Um, Yu Gi Oh! Backpack. I don't think anyone will want to wear that. Unless they want to get bullied. No, there's nothing wrong with Yu Gi Oh! It's just. The way it is. 
And the, plus the rising sensation of people calling people weebs just for watching anime. <coughs> but if you buy that poor quality anime stuff, I think you deserve to get called weeb. Which Iowa Hacks kind of is, but it isn't, because it's good quality stuff. And some things just look straight off the street, but overall nice. Next to their wallets, the wallets are nice. You know, I haven't bought any new products, so it's kind of. I sound a kind of bit edgy just saying these things, even though it's my opinion. I haven't you know, bought something, checked the quality or anything. But I'm going based on the looks, because looks could be deceiving. I'm just saying how I feel. Like, the anime rocks off Shooter PU. You now that looks something Photoshop. Like when you get that, it's gonna look weird. Now something as simple as Death Note that will look okay, nice, as well as the Fate Zero. Really digging the Totoro items though. Seems like they're not holding back. Especially Chopper. I don't really see a lot of Chopper things when I. Want to get One Piece things? I mean, we just want Chopper, Frankie. Um, yeah. These are pretty much just wallets, wallets. So there's nothing really flashy about them, unless you're that kind of person. So, yeah, I think I have enough time for phone cases and caps. And then another episode I will do more in depth on the shirts and pants because I kind of lazily just went over a few and like, I'm done. But they have more subcategories, especially shirts. So their phone covers iPhone, not surprised. Majorities are probably going to be iPhones, good iPhones ones as well. I like how they have Mario here. But more intriguing is how it has anime. Yeah, you have Mario, and Mario isn't really considered anime. It's considered game cartoon, but it's okay because anime and Japanese cartoon. Let's not get into that controversy right now. I like how they have Brooke, but uh, the way he's letting something isn't my style. I wouldn't want to carry. Him. I probably would, but. As an optimistic person, I just wouldn't. <sighs> um, a lot of Pokemon stuff. Especially Jolteon. I've just seen a lot of Jolteon. Charmanders. But they... They appear to not be going out in anime. They seem to be going into the mainstream. It could be nice to see some other animes, like some will not watch, but seems cool. Finally, we'll go over caps. The caps, things about caps is you can practically make almost anything into a cap. Put Luigi there, cap. Mario, Donkey Kong. You can put um, Dramatical Murderer. Cap, so you can pretty much make anything cap, design-wise. Now, if you look at Venom, well, looks like Venom, but says Devil Wings, body and hat. I wonder why. It looks like it was it was made for a hat. You know, design works well. Top, and then they got the Team Valor Instinct. And God, I'm always forgetting Artaguno's team, Team Mystic. Totoro one doesn't look bad actually, it looks pretty creepy actually. And then you look at the Chester Cat and I'm like, cool, but it's not as, not as death glaring as Totoro's. Then you got, you know, hats that other people will wear. Nothing. 
everything doesn't have to be about anime, cartoons and games and whatnot. You know, people express their own designs. Beanies as well. I like their Sun and Moon hats, but I wouldn't wear that. Like they look good as a design idea. But when you execute them with those ears, it's just you could do it for a cosplay, but I don't see a lot of people wearing them in public. Um, I like their Overwatch hats. Pretty okay. Nothing to really say about a lot of their hats. You know, they look pretty decent in my opinion. I don't like leather hats, I can see the leather shine. And then they just have beanies. So I'll just end it there now. You know, Iowa Hacks, as I said, is an okay website. Or if I didn't say, I want to say right now, it's an okay website. You know, they sell decent products. Some are good, some are just bad, don't need to be there. Uh, others are just okay. Uh, the formatting is a li little bit iffy. But I don't think they're too worried about that. You know, as long as they're making business, they shouldn't be complaining about anything. Um, you should check out their website. You know, if you want something just for the lols, or honestly want some anime merch but don't know where to go outside your home, you can check iowahacks.net.